That ain't quite straight. Is that better? Hey everyone, how's it going? Elliot here again. In today's video, I'm going to be trying to repair a Super Mario Land 6 Golden Coins Game Boy game. I basically picked this up with my friend John and it is covered in corrosion inside and it doesn't do anything. Just to quickly show you, here's my McWill Game Boy Color. If I turn it on, if it doesn't short the Game Boy out, oh god, that doesn't look good at all. Yeah, I mean, it basically, it's just not... It's not a very happy state, and when it finally does um, turn on normally, it's uh, obviously not recognizing that there's a game in there. So let me just chuck it into um, this front lit Game Boy Color and just show you again, nothing works. So let's just go ahead and see what we can do to fix it. So I've got a, uh, a small uh, bit screwdriver. What's it, what are these things called? Game bit screwdriver, that's the one. And uh, you're gonna need one of those to take a, uh, a Game Boy game apart. And unless it's a fake one, in which case it's probably a Phillips screwdriver. So here we go. Let's see what the damage is inside. Oh dear. Well, that doesn't look very good at all. Uh, the first thing I can immediately notice is the battery is completely covered in corrosion. On the back, there is a bleak amount of uh, damage. And uh, yeah, wowee, that is not looking too good. So one thing I can say for sure is that there's no damage, there's no corrosion um, around the chips. So that is um, a little bit relieving because what that sort of means is there's, a, there's no chance that, well, actually I say that, but there's one up here which has had a little bit of damage. But um, what that hopefully means is um, none of the actual chips themselves are damaged and hopefully it's just going to be a case of the traces will might maybe need patching so i think the first um sort of thing to really to get our hands stuck into and just crack on with is removing the battery one thing i should mention is that you should definitely use flux for this sort of thing um, i don't have any but this has got a little bit of um of flux in it it's only a small amount 1.8 percent um, but you really really should get a load of flux on there um, especially for desoldering things, it just makes things a lot easier. I don't have any though, so everyone who's going to kick off at me saying, have you ever heard of flux? Yeah. Right, so let's go ahead and um, remove this then. So we're just going to apply a little bit more solder onto the pad and get our tweezers and just lift it up. Very, very simple and uh, quite quick. If you have flux, it'll probably be quicker. So what I'm probably going to do first is just clean up the area with isopropyl just to see if... Uh, I can do a little bit of a number on the corrosion surrounding the pads that we need to desolder. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll give this thing a much better clean up um, once I've got this battery off. Um, there's literally rust on the battery. I'm not sure if you can see that around the outside of it. So uh, that's never a good thing. So let's get a little bit more uh, solder on here, just some nice fresh stuff to sort of gel into the uh, the older corroded covered stuff, and just really make sure that the um, that the pads lifting up easily. Otherwise, you will just lift up the trace, which we really don't want to do. We will lift up the pads, sorry. Um, so just be really, really careful. Make sure the solder is well and truly um, heat up, heated up enough. We'll lift it up. Okay. Right, so there we go. The battery is now removed and you can see the, uh, the sort of corrosion um, around the outside there. So let's go ahead and toothbrush and isopropyl the whole thing. So I've got a small little plate here and I'm basically just going to pour some isopropyl onto the plate. Just a little bit. We don't want too much in there. And uh, I'm just going to sort of use it to clean the, uh, the board. And you just want to really go all over this thing. You can be relatively rough but you don't need to be too rough you know you're not you're not trying to like sand the board down um, or anything you just want to get into the grooves and take the isopropyl off some people actually full-on submerge the uh, the isopropyl in there I really don't think you need to do that but I guess it's just whatever works for you so I'm just gonna go ahead and scrub the whole thing and see if we get anywhere So the next thing to do is just grab a little paper towel. Um, I'm just gonna sort of dab everything and dry it. 
Whilst I'm doing that though, I'm gonna chuck this in some nice hot soapy water. You can even see that the corrosion's sort of gotten into the inside of the plastic. Um, so yes, the label's probably gonna get damaged, um, but I'm not too worried. I just wanna get it all cleaned up. So let's give everything a quick once over with a Q-tip and some isopropyl. And we're just gonna sort of scrub it all um, a little bit more. Hopefully we might be able to sort of buff up some of these contacts here. Um, you can see there a little bit of um, corrosion is coming off onto the Q-tip, but will it be enough? So what I'm gonna do is just chuck it in uh, this sort of uh, housing, and what we'll do is pop it in the back of this Game Boy Color and see if we get any life. No, not a single bit of, oh no, this isn't, this isn't gonna work, is it? Oh, we get a little bit of the Nintendo sign. Okay, let's just see if we do the sort of method putting the uh, the cartridge in and out a few times. <gasps> oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness me. Okay, it actually works. Holy moly. I mean, you can still see that there's some pretty bad corrosion down the back there, but maybe that one last little sort of scrub worked. Okay, wow, this is exciting. Right, let's whack the, uh, the battery, the new battery back in here, and hopefully we'll be well on our way to a working Super Mario. Not the cleanest um, soldering in the world, but without flux, it will do. Okay, so let's take this toothbrush and we'll go and scrub the cartridge and make sure that that is nice and clean for this cart to go back in. Well, I am very surprised and super, super happy with how this turned out. Um, the cartridge itself doesn't look too bad, and uh, yeah, it does actually play. Um, I played a little bit of the, the game, obviously, before. I was going to say I played a little bit of a game, thinking I repaired a console, because I'm so used to that. Um, and as you can see, it saves absolutely fine. So uh, yeah, really, really happy with how this turned out. Um, obviously, it's not exactly a rare game, you know, and I could have saved myself some time and just spent another couple pounds getting another one, but it's been very, very fun uh, repairing it. And as you can see, it has come out looking not too bad. You could replace the stickers as well because there's aftermarket ones online, but I'm exactly, f I'm absolutely fine with how this one has turned out. So, uh, yeah, hope you have all enjoyed this video. If you pick up some corroded, rusty carts, don't chuck them away because you can fix them. Although it just takes a lot of isopropyl. <laughs> isopropyl. Isopropyl. I don't even know how to say it anymore. This video is ending. Thank you very much for watching. I've been smelling too much of that stuff, I think. Catch you in the next video. Peace.